Right, ladies and gents, I want us to look at engineering drawing X paper that was written on the 26th March 2024 under the question of sectional drawing, uh, question 6. So it reads as follows Figure 6 below shows two views, two primary views of a model drawn in first angle orthographic projection to a scale one to one the following views of this model so you are expected to draw a full sectional front view uh, on the cutting plane bp it's paying six marks 6.2 the full sectional left view on the cutting plane aa paying seven marks 6.3 <clears throat> print the following tightly and the scale beneath the, the layout printing this one everyone can do that so now these are the views so what I would like to emphasize here guys these views are given in first angle orthographic projection and the, the question is like this but these views actually they are like this you understand so which means we are given the front and the, the left are we together we they are not like this as such that yes you will be saying is the front and the top a hey, one so they are like this so which means when you draw you have to draw them like this in the landscape so we are actually given the front and the left eh? not the front and the top are we together so they are like this so we analyze views using what a projection symbol so we analyze the views using the projection symbol this one understand so these views are like this they are like this so which means we are given the front and the the left view so the aa is talking about the full sectional left view the pp is talking about the full sectional what right uh, sorry not right view the a uh, a uh, uh, full sectional front view this is n1 we do not even talk about the word right is out of your syllabus so now let's see are they did they ask you to draw the top no so which means we can start i will decide to start just a little bit down I can ignore the what the the space for the top view since the question didn't ask you to draw the what the top view so that I'll have enough space up there for for uh, for other question so I'll decide to draw a faint line like this faint line like that just down there little bit then from here, draw another line. So using a scale of one is to one. So they didn't ask you to ask uh, to draw the what the top view. So the space of the top view, even if I ignore it, like as I've said, set a scale one is to one. Then. And from there, from this point, ne, from this point, I will, I can measure the dimension of 54, 54 millimeter. I'm drawing the front view. So the 55, 54 is this one. There it is. I can draw it solid. Where it 54 ends, I can go up. With what? With a vertical faint line, like that. So then, from here going up, or from here going up, I see a dimension of thirty millimeter. So the thirty millimeter, which is that one. Then put a horizontal faint line. There you go. 
where 30 millimeter ends there is a dimension of height of 53 you see this is 53 millimeter so remember we read them like this this is my front this is my left so from here 53 this is 54 53 is here so i give it a mark there you can even throw it solid straight up now it's that 53 so from here till it's 53 millimeter which is which one is this one from here till there from here till here 30 from here till here 53 you understand so once i got it i can now go horizontal faint towards this side so that i'll be having the space for my left view so again from here till there solid which means from here till there solid so i say dimension of nine millimeter from here till the nine and again till the nine millimeter So there is my 10, the 9 is right there. Then again, 5, 10, 9 is here. So from here till there, it's my 9 millimeter. Then from there, draw projecting just a little bit down. Even here. little bit down then once you are there once you are there what is this one so from here till year 16 going down 16 millimeter 15 16 is right there so I can go like this so I can have this one dark like this, dark right there, and dark from here to there, which is this one, this one neighbor. Then from there, what are we going to have? Now we are going to have this one because you must be able to analyze these hidden details on your left view. So these hidden details correspond with that, this correspond with that, this correspond with this, this correspond with that. Are we together? So now from here till there we've gotten it, which is this one, isn't it? So now where your 30 ends. From here till there is your 30. From here till there, isn't it? So now this, remember what we are doing is a sectional drawing. So let's analyze this line. What is it going to disappear or is going to remain there? So again, these hidden details, is it going to disappear or is going to remain? You understand? There by your front view. So this hidden details talks about this 20 millimeter. You understand? So if we are tracing BP, which is the cutting plane BP, this one. So this hidden details, it was before the cutting plane. Was we cut to expose the inside view and we draw what is being pointed by the arrows. So these arrows, it is the one that uh, 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 are telling us what to draw and whatever that is beyond the cutting plane we consider it as an off cut so the hexo started to cut from here till there so from here till there the hexo did not cut anything so which means this hidden details it will be there it won't disappear so which means we must come from here to you measure 20 millimeters there is your 20 millimeter Then, 
so is this hidden detail it will be there hmm. which is this one which is this one yeah. upside down which is that one remember we 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 let we read views using what the the projection symbol so it's like this this is the front this is the left like as i've i've said it before so that one without fear or favor it won't it won't uh, uh, disappear and it won't change to solid or dark so again this one from here till there it will also remain there which is this one from here till there it will remain there which is this one so from here till there is what is eight millimeter going up this is 10 this is 9 this is 8 I mark it 0 5 6 7 8 mark it 0 and then extend this line towards your left hand uh, towards your right hand side so that you get the left view there so where your 8 ends there is a dimension of 14 millimeter so from here till there 14 millimeter do you have to get the center of it no so there is my 15 so 14 i mark at zero and i then there it is you understand so now the length of this hole they said is 36 let's see what is it corresponding with this one so if it correspond you just draw it dark then so from here till there is 36 so which means remember how to decode it you said from here till a nine from here till nine. so this 36 that they are talking about it has already came out by itself so now we can come to have this one solid solid and solid solid so this it won't disappear so this front view we actually throw it the way as it is it will there is nothing that is going to disappear here this one it won't disappear this one it won't disappear this one it won't disappear and remember if the hidden lines they don't disappear they become solid so in this front view there is it would be remain like this then we we'll put hatches then then let's section now because they set a full sectional front view on a cutting plane pp so now we only section where the hex or cut it isn't it? So which means when we now we section, that's how you're going to section. I decide to start here. We section using a 45 degrees. Your hatches they must be equally spaced. So which means there you go. So from here till here it's a hole you jump. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yes. Then like this, you are done. So that's your full sectional front view on a cutting plane pp it doesn't mean it mean that everything is going to be in sectioning we only section where the hex or cut it you understand so it doesn't mean that everything is going to be in sectioning no so now after we've gotten this now we can approach to draw the what the left view now the left view So the left view is supposed to be 
this side. So let me see clearly.